Do you want to learn how to set up Fastify with TypeScript and Auto Reload? In this video, we will do exactly that using the Nodemon package. Before we can start, we have to create a new directory for our project and enter it. For this example, we will use backend and open it with the VS Code editor. We then initialize a new project and install the required packages. For this video, I will use the PNPM package manager, but you can use whatever you want. For example, just npm. First, we run pnpm init. Then we install the package fastify as it is our backend framework of choice. We then install TypeScript with the necessary types, TS node so we can run the .ts files without compiling them. And lastly, we will install nodemon for the auto reload. Before we can start coding, we have to configure TypeScript. Therefore, we first create the config file using npx tsc init and inside the resulting tsconfig.json, we update the target to es2017 and set outdir to dot slash build. After we finish configuring TypeScript, we can create our main file inside source index.ts with the following content. We first import the Fastify package and create a server variable from it. We then create the root endpoint and send a reply on request. Next up, we start the server on port 3000 and stop it when an error occurs. And with that, we wrote all the code we need for our basic server. Before we can run the server in dev mode, we need to configure nodemon and add some scripts to the package.json. To configure nodemon, we create a new file called nodemon.json. And inside of it, we configure to run .ts files using tsnode. Then we add the dev and build scripts inside the package.json. The dev script runs the index file and watches the source directory for any changes. And if there is a change, it will automatically restart the server. The build script builds the release version of the project. And now that our scripts are added, we can run the server using pnpm dev and then change something in the index.ts file. For example, the port, and then we see that it automatically restarts the server with the new port. And with that, you've set up your Fastify project with TypeScript and auto reload. If this guide was helpful for you, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.